I'm Chase. I'm Tyler. I'm Michelle. I'm Mike. And hey, hey check, check this, this spot out! out. As a family of four, we are very active campers. We like to travel around in an RV. This channel is about campgrounds, skateboarding, surfing, mountain biking, any other sport we could find, include off-road, and we do like to go off-road in our Jeep. So we'll do reviews on any campgrounds we visit, special interest areas that families such as ours might wanna visit, and off-road trails. Also, any parts on my Jeep. So if you have any questions, please ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications. Okay, we are at Stone Mountain Campground, uh, just outside Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, really nice park. Uh, we're just going to do a quick drive through the main loop because the park is so big. Um, there's several different loops. This is going to be the main loop here. Uh, you have check-in up there, a little store. They have propane refiller there and a nice covered pavilion right there um, with a fire pit in it for if it's raining and so forth. Um, so nice paved roads. These are some good sites. These are, I think they're called premium sites. There's a nice field behind them. There is a swimming pool, which is part of my pet peeve because it doesn't open until about 10 a.m. and then it closes an hour before the registration office closes. So it closes at like four o'clock. Doesn't make sense. Um, Cause it's not like they provide a lifeguard or anything. It's just swim at your own risk, but it's only open a few hours a day. So, uh, they do have some other spots that are fully paved. Uh, they're not handicapped, they just cost a little bit more. They got pavilions over the picnic tables. Uh, so we are in this loop right here. Um, what site are we? We're on the Cedar Trail and it's site number 141. So that is our site right there. Nice long site, plenty of room, full hookup, including cable. So we're getting some decent uh, cable channels. I believe we got about 40 channels. Uh, bath houses on every loop that's here. Uh, decent. Uh, this one by ours does not have showers, but the one at the bottom of the hill does. And another pet peeve is they do have laundry, but nothing on the main loop. You have to go down one of the other loops, which doesn't make sense, you would think with the office and everything else, and they have the room for it, that it would be on the um, main loop. Do have these geese, or ducks, or whatever they are. I know there are geese here, but whatever. Running around everywhere. There's deer. Deer all over the place. Um, so again, nice spots. Paved roads for the kids. Ride skateboards, bikes, everything else. They do have yurts that you can rent right on the water. They are pretty nice inside. Uh, we were in one about five years ago. It was a, I believe a king bed, a bunk bed, and I think it had a mini fridge. Uh, no bathrooms in them, at least last time we were in there. And I believe they had like an air conditioner or something, like a mini split system. They do actually see one. Uh, they do have mobile homes, I guess, or RVs that you can rent out to with decks. I've never seen inside them, but uh, it's a RV. So they all look about the same. It looks like a couple have bunk houses, maybe the double window right there. But anyways, good campground. Uh, like I said, just the pool thing kind of irks me. Uh, a lot of hiking. I think there's 15 miles of trails in here. And then also you could hike up Stone Mountain, which is a mile up to the top, mile back down. Uh, if you can't hike up, they do have a gondola that could bring you up. I don't know what it costs, but they do have like a little village that you could pay to get into. It has some stores in it, restaurants, uh, activities, a laser light show and all that good stuff. That includes the uh, gondola ride. We did that last time we were here. It was, it was worth it, so, but we hiked up. Uh, yesterday there's a lot of people on it hiking there are bathrooms at the bottom uh, and there's bathrooms at the top also in the little shop so but that's about it so if you're ever here this is a good place to stay uh, you have 
a lot of stuff in Atlanta. You're about 40 minutes from Six Flags. You got the Atlanta Braves, uh, the Coke Museum tour, and a lot of other attractions like an aquarium and just general anything you can need within probably about 20 minutes of here just dealing with Atlanta traffic. So any questions, feel free to ask.